Welcome back to the Exploring Growth podcast. Uh, this is a third of three uh, HBS conversations I've had with um, experts in my network that I reached out to. Um, if you've watched the other two, you're already kind of on the on the lead here. Um, but this is the third of three. Um, it's a HBS online course I, ta- I took called Business Strategy, and I hope you enjoy this conversation. All right. Thanks, Christina, for coming on today and joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, you know, it, as I've been walking through this course, um, we got to this section on operations and productivity. And immediately I thought of you because I was like, if, if there's anyone that understands productivity, it's Christina. So thanks for coming on. And I, I think this is going to be a really good conversation. Um, I wanted to touch on a couple high level um, questions that came through the course and uh, and just kind of have a discussion with you about yeah. those. So let's start like very high level and, you know, as much granularity as you want to get into is fine, but kind of starting things out, how does your organization measure productivity? Right. So this could be a system that you use um, or it could be, you know, um, uh, like a, sort of a methodology of how you guys operate. Um, and and I'm, I'll be interested too, to know um, just to kind of like, take one step further is how does this play out in multiple departments? Right. Because sometimes some departments are a little bit more productive than others. And so, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it it really is dependent from in our line of business from project to project on how we do measure productivity. So there are a variety of systems and tracking tools that we, we utilize to measure productivity to see, for example, You know, if we have uh, a team that is responsible for, let's say, uh, processing X amount of applications a day, right? We we look at our 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 tracking tools and we we identify our our team members hitting the goals. You know, we we first have to establish what those goals are, right? So, you know, we we can't expect our team to meet productivity requirements if they don't know what those requirements are, right? So, understanding and, and establishing what are the goals and uh, clearly communicating those, and then looking at those various tools, those, those tracking tools that we've established, um, some that we've, we've inherited throughout the year, some that we create and we're currently building and establishing just depending on the nature of the, of the project. Um, but we use those to track, you know, are they hitting those markers? Are they hitting those expectations, those, those, uh, those KPIs, right? Um, mm-hmm. So we, we, that is, that's how we're currently measuring um, Productivities. We do look at things from a system standpoint. Um, we'll say, you know, from a transaction standpoint, are we are we hitting the number of transactions that we need to hit for the day, for the month, um, for the year? Right. We look at it from that perspective. Um, in other departments, it's not so black and white. Right. So sometimes mm-hmm. there's a series of um, different types of data. We'll say that we got to collect. You know, sometimes we're looking at customer satisfaction. You know, maybe that's a a piece right. that we're trying to measure, uh, which is not always easy to measure, right? You know, we have to go through a couple of different avenues to gather that information, but we can evaluate productivity, you know, just gathering various mm-hmm. different metrics from various different resources. So uh, again, it depends on the the project that we're, we're working, but I would say most of what we, we leverage is our systems because we built them um, and we set them up in a way to capture the data that we need. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's very complex, like just knowing a little bit about what you guys do. It's a very complex thing to to manage productivity because you have so many different stakeholders that are you're having to manage both on your side and the client side. And the type of work that you do for each client is not always the same. You know, so the outcome or measurable is not going to always be the same. So being able to track that across the company is can prove to be very difficult. Yes, it can be. Uh, the great thing is that we've been able to leverage tools like um, Power BI, where we can take data from right. multiple systems and we can bring them mm-hmm. all together and create various yeah. dashboards and reports that, you know, they may not necessarily say the same thing, you know, from project to project, but they give the information that's necessary for us to determine, are we staying on track? Mm-hmm. Are we being productive? Are we meeting performance, you know, metrics? So. So it's, it's mm-hmm. kind of great that we can leverage those tools also to kind of help us, you know, from a higher level, manage and maintain those things, have full transparency. 
So knowing what you're currently doing to measure productivity, is there is there something that you could see wanting to improve? Like, so, I mean, there's always ways to improve, right? But I guess the question is, are you, is there a measure that you'd want to, to adopt to what you're currently doing? Oh man, that's a good question, Lee. <laughs> the million dollar, the, the million dollar question. Oh, I would say <clears throat> overall, one thing that I really would love to measure, but I, I, I would tell you, I don't even know where, where to start here is uh, client yeah. perception, you know, of our business yeah. and, yeah. you know, how, how that's changed and evolved over time and, and improved or maybe mm -hmm. not, you know, improved. Maybe there's some challenges mm -hmm. that we need to, to work through. Right. So I would say uh, right. company perception in our, our target demographic, you know, how they see us and how, how we can bring value to them. So I think that that would be, mm -hmm. I would love to measure that. I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Yeah, no. And actually to, um, to that point, it's funny you mentioned that because that's one of the things that we learned about in this course was trying to um, identify maybe like a top five to eight value drivers for um, your customer to, to say, what is the one or two things that they very mm -hmm. much want? And then you basically start to build your business around those top indicators and everything else that you may have done well, you know, to, to a large extent starts to, you start to back off of. Um, so what it looks like is you're, you're really going after these top two drivers and it starts to create a competitive advantage for you in the marketplace because there's a reason why it's very no, you know, noticeable for your customer to, to choose you over someone else because you align with right. what they value. So so I think that's definitely something to be to be thinking about and, and uh, you know, and, and looking forward to mm -hmm. capturing in the future. Um, OK, a couple more questions sure. here for you. Um, how has the pro productivity of your organization changed over the last five years and what would you attribute to, to that change? And I know, you know, just having worked with you guys for a little while that you guys have it's like you got on one of Elon's rockets <laughs> and like shot up to Mars. I mean. It, you guys have just been holding on to the growth, oh, yeah. right? I mean, it's just been incredible. So productivity has changed a lot. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm curious to see from your vantage point what, what that looked like. Yeah. So I'll tell you, and we've been doing this for a long time, but even with the substantial growth that we've been able to to make and to sustain, right? There, there has mm -hmm. to be a high level of accountability amongst the team and in our in our and our, our sure. individuals that are, are working for us, right? So, uh, we like I said, we do leverage the systems to help give us data, you know. But at the end of the day, it's we, I would say, holding our team accountable and giving them kind of the autonomy to get the things mm -hmm. done that we need them to get done and empower them to do so. I think that really helped mm -hmm. contribute to that. Um, we've we've seen significant growth. And there's no way we could have not done that without making sure that we had the systems in place to, to measure, mm -hmm. you know, productivity and making sure that we can see those things, but also, you know, establishing, you know, that accountability mindset has been, which is not easy, you know, it, it's come with its no. own set of challenges. And it, it, sometimes we don't have the mm -hmm. right people in the right seats. And, um, and so That's we right. have to kind of move things and shift things around to, to make it work. But I would say, you know, a high level of accountability, but also making sure that you're, you're leveraging your systems to, to give you the data that you need so that when it comes time to, you know, have those tough conversations, right. We can mm -hmm. see, you know, what the next step is, how do we move forward and how do we resolve and how we can continue to grow and, and do better really. For sure. Yeah, for sure. All right. Last question. What opportunities do you see to further improve as you move forward? your organization's productivity? I would say uh, there's always a data point and I've, I've learned this. There's always a data point that we don't capture when we're doing things. And so I think for us, it's a matter mm -hmm. of really taking a step back and looking at all the various elements that we're looking at and what are the bigger goals that we're trying to accomplish. And if there's a, a data mm -hmm. point that we need to capture, we need to be able to, to do that from the, the get-go. So I think for us, it's right. making sure that um, the things that we are tracking, we're very intentional about it, you know, and we're not mm -hmm. just tracking things just to track it because if it's not going to produce any real value to us, what's the point? Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe right. in that. <laughs> so just right. being right. very right. intentional about what it is that we're trying to measure, um, and how we're going mm -hmm. to measure it. 
and then making sure we're setting up the systems appropriately. So we, you know, and filling in those gaps because we've, you know, we've experienced those gaps. And as we move forward and as we realize, oh, mm -hmm. shoot, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't mm -hmm. quite track that piece of information and now we just don't know. So now it's just, we're le those are lessons learned for us. And I think there's continuous yeah. lessons that we're going to be learning is filling in those gaps of what it is that we're looking at, how we're going to measure it, and making sure that we are measuring it. For sure. Yeah. And to the point of this whole course being business strategy, um, I think what you're saying very much resonates with what I'm learning and my natural tendencies as an advisor is to take these concepts, you know, that you're you're looking at the broad net of tactics and uh, efforts and teams and bringing them all mm -hmm. together to execute on something that is actually measurable so you can track how that strategy was implemented and, and if you had success. So the systems part of it is key. Um, and I think to your point, like uh, giving transparency up the chain, you know, to Absolutely. business goals and accountability up the chain and mm -hmm. down the chain uh, for each of the roles. Um, I think those two things, as if they can come together nicely, really give you a good solid, um, you know, Absolutely. path forward. 100% agree. Well, thanks for coming on and answering these questions for me. Um, I'll definitely link all your information below if anybody has any questions about operations, because I would I would definitely say in my world, when it comes to um, you know top operators and even probably CMOs too that I know, I put your uh, name in that category. So. <laughs> If anybody wants to learn anything when it comes to COOing or CMOing, I'm going to I'm going to drop your Perfect. name. Thank you so much.